Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and if you saw our last episode of Hermitcraft, an extremely brief public service message about the nature of the slash clear command, you would know that I accidentally typed the slash clear command. This has resulted in my inventory being completely emptied. I did, the new stuff is other things I've grabbed since then. Um, howdy, typing back true is not the same thing as greeting someone back. How do you do true? False. Let's do better. So, we're going to go ahead and grab what we need in order to bootstrap having the materials we will need to survive. Now, I do have my diamond chest plate because I don't carry it and the elytra at the same time. That's a risk, and I normally don't swap between them. I've got a gold helmet here. Hey, we'll go ahead and put that on. Look, we're already more stylish. I feel like I'm going to have to go back to my base to recover some tools. And so this episode, which was going to be about building this out, down here and upstairs. I, I love this new stairwell I got started on, but you know what? This episode is now about something else. It's about survival. We are back to basics in survival Minecraft. Who's the guy who can conquer death? That's Joe Hills. He plays for Nashville when he plays Minecraft. That's Joe We have emerged from below Red Sky Bay, below the very crust that supports the water, that supports the boats, that supports the pigs. I don't know, you can't see them from up here, but they're down there, believe me. Anyway, what I'm realizing, though, is in my efforts to replenish all of my materials, while I have admittedly found seven diamonds, some lapis, some redstone, plenty of coal, I am still going to be a little bit short on wool for my project at the uh, community area which I would like to hopefully kind of close out to some degree today before we start worrying too much about, like, getting all my weapons re-enchanted. Because, like, yeah, I had some cool diamond, uh, you know, uh, armor or whatever before, but now I have cool chain armor, and I kind of like how chain looks anyway. do need to repair it, though, so it doesn't just, you know, run out on me from getting hit by zombies or something. But I will need to focus on my building projects if I want to have time to get Ravenloft and everything done. It is very important to me, though, to get the gaming shop at least to the point where the table is set up, because I think that's going to be where we do our kind of introduction to Castle Ravenloft, uh, or introduction to the story. Because in the uh, adventure uh, I-6 Ravenloft by Tracy and Laura Hickman, you don't start in the castle. You arrive at the castle as the story progresses, and so I need to have kind of a uh, setup location that we will start at, and then we will travel to the castle from there. And I think that that ideal setup location is going to be my shop down in the communal area. So, anyway, got my wool, got my lapis, got my diamonds. I probably should be on my way. Time skip. We have returned to the site where I accidentally cleared my inventory. But you know what? I've decided, I looked at this with the blue wool, and it was it was wrong. You know, go through all this effort to get this lapis, get this wool, and then it's just like, no, no this just doesn't look right. So I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the original kind of core concept I had for the table and have that kind of come back like this, as I intended. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the roof a little bit here. And I know that Scar had certain expectations about, you know, how people were going to decorate this, and that these are supposed to be facades that jut out. But, like, I feel like if I just kind of tweak this just a bit, just a little, it's going to be okay. Oh, wait, is that a mine shaft up there? Now I'm excited, because I actually really need cobwebs. Okay, that might not be a mine shaft up there. Dang it. Well, I was almost excited, but then I was disappointed. So, anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, if I've kind of just come through here and wipe out a little bit of this without going nuts. Oh, I found a mine shaft. Okay, forget everything about tables. We're going on an adventure. I need my shears because I need cobwebs. This is already better. Oh, hey, look, there's a chest. I wonder if anybody's checked it. Yes, yes, they have. Oh, hey, look, a chest. Well, somebody checked that one too, probably. 
Ooh, unknown dark area. Although this does not lead to cobwebs, so we're not going to go that way. I'm going to get so lost back here. Man, somebody must have wiped out all the cobwebs already, because there's none. I feel like these mines are supposed to have cobwebs in them. I also feel like I'm a little bit not quite lost, but okay, so there's the stairs back up, which I will need later. Just put those there for reference. And we got mushrooms growing. I hear spiders. That looked like it might have been something, but it wasn't. Okay, if I hear spiders, there should be... Wait, this is like right where I came in, though. Dang it. This is maybe not as constructive as I would have hoped. Hey! Free food and horse armor. So, not a complete loss, but... Dang it, no spider webs either. So, there is that. But let's go ahead and be on our way. We tried. Little mini-adventure in the midst of our other thing. Assuming we can find our way back out of here. Hey, I did it! There's probably a whole bunch of mobs spawning back in there, aren't there? Huh. Also, real quick check. Yep, no cobwebs this way. So. Quick nom on a potato. I bet there's stuff spawning back there. That's those noises I've been hearing where, like, stuff spawning right in there. Oh, that's going to be a little bit of a safety hazard. So we're going to go ahead and plug that up real quick um, with the magic of whatever blocks we have. So we can just kind of come around here like so and just kind of do, do, do. Then we'll just go ahead with our table. Whoops. Get kind of a little bit cozy back here, but that's okay. So just kind of like that and that. Great. So people go down here, they're fine, they come back up here, they're fine. Might even... Ooh, probably want to cover that. But this here, in general, it's a good core concept, but having this actually kind of cave upward will really amplify the use of the space. Because if you're in here, you don't want to see this roof. This floor is barely acceptable as it is. You want to see the beautiful open cave sky. So we're just going to ruin the open cave sky. Boom. Man, those spiders sound really close, but I know they can't be too close. Okay, so from here now, we have a much better view around the table. So if somebody's sitting in the very far back spot here, they still can see pretty decent view. Well, that's that's not too bad. Somebody sitting in this very far back spot, same thing. Not too terrible. If you're sitting up here, it's a lot better. Better seat. I, I admit it. That's going to be just how it is. So, Dungeon Master seat facing this way. Still a pretty good shot, right? Okay, so let's just kind of trim and clip a little bit here and here, though, just to kind of make sure that Dungeon Master view isn't too bad. Okay, and then we're going to come all the way out to here and just add a little bit more irregularity a bit. Just kind of open it up some. As happy as I am with how all this has turned out, these spider noises are incessant, and I need cobwebs. So, I started suspecting that there was a spider spawner somewhere around here, right? Besides the spider spawner I already had. And guess what I found? This! Now, I added this torch here so that I wouldn't, like, immediately be killed by more spiders than I could possibly, you know, fight. But clearly this uh, is actually accessible from a level down here. Let's go ahead... I don't know, so somehow I've mined, like, back past here. Ooh, okay, so that's where they are. And that is going to be plenty of cobwebs for my little cobweb shop. 
I don't think that it's going to be a problem for me to... Whoa. Of course, I'm out of good pickaxes. Not pickaxes, swords. But, anyway. So, thank you, baby spider, for that. But I do have, suddenly, a way to get cobwebs. So, that will be a small victory. We just got to get our, uh, you know, dying out of the way. Health recovered. Whoops. Dang it, additional torches. So, where is he? Oh, good. They're all up there. So we can just kind of go through here and start recovering some of these. That will be awesome. Jeez. These guys fly through here. I feel like I'm hearing a spider or, or a skeleton shooting too. There is a skeleton shooting. He's on the other side. So. That's one mystery solved. So we can just grab some of these cobwebs for our death house and ravenloft builds. And those are going to be a huge boon to us. Dang it, baby spiders. You are my least favorite form of babies. And my least favorite form of spiders. Somehow you have managed to combine two things that I normally don't really mind that much and make them both terrible. Where's that skeleton? He's got to be nearby. Why can't I see him in there? Let's go ahead and just harvest these two. Oh, I see him now. Okay, there's probably a whole bunch of baby spiders back there at this point. Dang it, skeleton. Whoa, that one came out of nowhere. I feel like I'm making a lot of progress. Whoa. Let's go ahead and eat again. Get our sword back out. Can I shoot through the bows and arrows? Oh, of course I can't. I don't have any arrows. Grabbed a new bow, but did not grab any arrows. Okay, somehow he shot himself. No, that one back there shot him. Well, whatever. If we look at it, we got 26 cobwebs out of this. Wow, this has been a huge boon for us. We needed these for both Death House and Ravenloft, so getting these both is great. Oh, dang it. Skeleton, stop. Just leave me alone. Dang it. Blocks are hard. Let's make torches. Okay, so we'll put the torches over here now again. Can I get to him? Hey, that kind of... Whoa. This is kind of working. Not well. But I got the skeleton, at least. And I just need to put more torches everywhere. And I think that should be the end of the spiders soon. No, not at all. Not at all. There's a bunch back there. Should I break the spider spawner? I feel like... It's a bad thing to break spawners on servers. Like, that's just not something that's done. Definitely more spiders. There's probably like a bajillion around the corner here. At least one. Okay, not bad. Otherwise, there's one more. How'd he get me? I don't even know. Well, there's one up there, but I'm out of torches. So we are going to retreat for the time being. And we will take our stone blocks and cover them up right there. Whew, okay guys, that is a win. That is a huge win. I went from having no idea where I was going to find spiders to... Wow, looking like a, I was going to say a pin cushion. But yeah, I guess that actually is what I look like. 
that's okay. I'm very happy with my self-image. Look at that. Look at well, this is this is what somebody looks like who is happy with themselves. Boom. Whoa. That was a mistake. Dang it. How do I go in the door? This is easier for me. Okay, let's go in the door and go back upstairs and try that again. Boom. Now we turn around and look out. Boom. Okay, great. Let's check out our cool gaming table, guys. It's pretty sweet. And so is our awesome new pincushion decoration. So, oh no, my helmet did die. Dang it, spiders. Oh well. Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.